Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Israel today to meet with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The Middle East visit an effort to restart ceasefire talks. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken touching down in Tel Aviv today, meeting with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Blinken hoping to revive stalled ceasefire talks in an effort to prevent the war from expanding even further in the Middle East. On Gaza, U.S. officials say they want to take advantage of the killing of Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar to help reach a resolution. They're also focused on the lack of aid in the most desperate areas of northern Gaza, where the IDF has ramped up operations. The Hamas-run health ministry he says over 100 have been killed and nearly 500 injured in the last 48 hours alone, with at least seven strikes targeting the Gaza Strip. Blinken also focusing on Lebanon, hoping to help defuse the conflict between Hezbollah and Israel. Lebanese authorities say at least 13 people, including one child, were killed and dozens more injured in an IDF strike near a hospital in southern Beirut on Monday. Lebanese officials say there is damage to the hospital. This man says his brother is under the rubble, his cell phone ringing but no sign of him, saying he doesn't know if he's dead or alive. Israel's defense forces denying they hit the hospital, claiming they targeted three command centers of a Hezbollah drone unit near the hospital, saying the strike killed dozens of fighters. The IDF claiming they struck what they say are more than 230 terror targets in Lebanon and the Gaza Strip in the last 24 hours, including at least 20 airstrikes in Lebanon. Air raid sirens sounding off in the Tel Aviv area and interceptions seen in the sky ahead of Blinken's visit. Nearly 100 rockets fired at Israel Monday by Hezbollah. Secretary Blinken also discussing Israel's plans to launch a retaliatory strike against Iran and the fear that this could all turn into an all-out war between the two countries. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.